Hi guys, I'm gonna make three screens today. We have two hatches in our bedroom and they don't have screens on them. And I'm gonna make two screens for those and I'm gonna make a screen for our front door. This is our front door. We have screen here, which lets in some air, but not enough. What we want, is a screen to go right there. Because if we have that open to allow a lot of air flow in, we get the flies, we get bugs, um, mosquitoes. So that is what I'm going to be making today. I bought some Pfeiffer Tech, which is this plastic screen. It's very durable. And I bought some Sunbrella fabric that I'm gonna to use to trim it with. We bought some tubing. This is meant to go around the wires. This is what we're gonna to use to hold that screen down. This measurement is a 32 and a quarter. And it goes all the way under here. So the screen will fit in here. From here to here is 39 and a half. This is two inches from here to here where this comes in because the screen will come come through here and then come this way. So see the edges of the screen will be where my fingertips are. And then it will it comes in. It can't go there. It comes in. It'll lay right down here. So from here to here is that 20, 28 inches. So from here to here is 32 and a quarter. And then I'm gonna put Velcro along right here. Stick on Velcro on that piece and sew on Velcro on the shade. With my screen, piece cut. Now it's time to make the edging. So I'm going to cut strips, three inch strips of the umbrella fabric. And then I will have an inch um, width with the seam allowance and um, around the whole edging. And on the front, on the one side, I'm going to put Velcro and the other side, I'm gonna put this plastic piece inside to keep it down, and I'm gonna also make little pockets to put this plastic piece along the side so it doesn't drip down, <clears throat> because that'll happen because of the weight of the fabric. I'm just using a regular home sewing machine and Goodman thread because that's what I have. I don't have an industrial machine. So, and I think it's gonna be fine uh, because these screens are not gonna be in direct sunlight. They are in, uh, the one I'm doing now is under the bimini. The ones in the bedroom are underneath the seats on top in the cockpit. So I think it'll be fine if I was doing um, the one, like something that was in direct sunlight, I might wanna use a uh, stronger, more, um, maybe a nylon thread. And really, this machine will probably go through all this fabric just fine. It's just the needle size, really. The industrial machines just go faster and um, they're more sturdy for continuous use uh, over and over and over again for like, you know, sewing eight hours a day, every single day. But this, I think, will be fine. The stitch line is gonna be right here. Half inch from this edge and an inch from this edge. I'm gonna stitch along here and then I'm gonna flip it over. Press it. Can't really press it. Press it with my hand. Turn it over like that. You can see this edge here. I'll flip it under and stitch it on this side. And then that'll be the edging. Just in 
side of this, so it's a bit shorter. See, while Mary Beth is doing the, the screens, I'm doing what I'll qualify to do. Scrub toilets! Ah! Happy boat, happy life! <laughs> Here's our hatches in the bedroom. Uh, they don't have any screens. The screen is supposed to go right in here and clip into these holders here. And I'm gonna make this screen. So I already cut it out. And it's gonna fit right in here. So I'm just eyeballing this. I turned this under so the raw edge wouldn't be um, showing. And I'm just gonna go. Oops. That way. See, this home machine is stitching it really well. And then I make a little pleat when it gets to the corner. I need three pleats. It. Oh, I did yeah. little pleats here. He wants to curl. Yeah, see that? So you've never done this before? No, I've never done this before. This, this is done flat, this one. Dresses and things. But like this side pops up. And I don't want it that way. Mm -hmm. This one pops up. Not as much. So I need three pleats. I was trying to get away with only two. So I think I need to rip this out. Ah. I'll do it over again. Just to here. I turn this piece under because that's gonna be so it won't be a raw edge because this stuff will unravel. And that's my corner. I just did the last pleat. Make us a sale? Sure. Uh, you repair it, I guess. Of course. That's one of the reasons why we have the sewing machine on board. Yes. See, now this I stitched too far out. So I'm just going to redo it. No big deal. If you make a mistake, you know, you just. Take it out to about there, and then I'm going to cut this right there. I stitch that together. These corners are okay. But see how it's flat now? Oh, yeah. Well, and then this will turn that way. It's not meant to be pretty and fluffy. It's just I couldn't figure out another way to do this than to have the pleats. Oh, here and here. Okay, so this, I'm gonna stitch this down. A lot, of, a lot of battery power. It doesn't matter. Doesn't 
guys for the video. No, it's the strength, strength of the needle, really. See how nice that looks? Oh, yeah. Instead of, there's other, instead of just being open like that. Oh, yeah. So, you can stitch that. so here's one screen. It doesn't look that professional, but it's done. Let's see if it works. Oh, look, it fits. Cool. Excellent. It looks really good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. no, I think it's, 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 got, it's excellent. It's going to serve a purpose and it looks pretty. I like it. Did I just have to put Velcro on there? Oh, right. I was going to stitch Velcro. Yeah. What do you have to say about your project? Done. It's done. It's done. I said that looks really good. It's really cool. It's excellent. The bubbles are good. Excellent job. Excellent job. We go with the flow. Wow. Look at that. I ran out of thread and bobbin at the, the same flow. time. That never happens.